So gardening's not unique in this, but it really is a great example of something that expands to fill the time available. And certainly when I started off as an allotmenter, allotment here, uh, I think I must have spent probably 20 hours a week on my allotment and I really enjoyed it. It was great. Um, now, five, six years on, I've got a lot of other hobbies and responsibilities and things. And so I can't spend that sort of time anymore. Uh, and I found that each year as I shrink down the amount of time I spend, and I'm down to about 10 hours a week, something like that now, um, I still kind of muddle through. Um, you know, things aren't quite as nice, perhaps as they were when I first started out, but um, they're good enough for me. And, but <coughs> it does sometimes get away from you. And that's what I found this week, really, because we've had family over. So I've only been getting down here probably five hours a week. Uh, and about two of, two of those uh, were harvesting. Uh, so that was for the last two weeks. And so the plot is quite kind of, it's not a mess, but it's got a lot of like, little things that are annoying me. Lots of weeds, lots of kind of just general maintenance things that are necessary just to keep the plants healthy that aren't getting done. Um, so anyway, I thought I would just show you around the sorts of messy things that have accumulated on my plot that I need to get sorted out and just gradually work away at it today because I've got about four hours on the plot and that's about as much as I can tolerate to be honest, uh, especially in the summer heat and I'll be pleased to get this like little bump over with and get back to my sort of half an hour in the morning, one hour in the evening kind of schedule for the plot which is kind of my preference really. First thing I want to get done is I want to get this polyphenol sorted out. I want to get rid of these early bean plants just to harvest the last few off here but they've been giving us beans now for six weeks or so and the time has come. We've got loads and loads of dwarf French beans and the main crop beans are just about ready as well. So I've just taken one of the bean plants out there. I'm just going to get this composted. I'm going to clear any of these beds that are kind of non-productive. The carrots have been eaten by bugs. <laughs> the uh, golden beets have been eaten by bugs there, so I'm going to get rid of those. Uh, the leeks are still doing fine, but generally just give everything a really good clean up. Take a lot of the lower leaves off the tomatoes and uh, yeah, just check these for caterpillars. I think I've got most of them now and the beetroot are growing really well. So despite big holes in the leaves, it doesn't seem to be affecting the growth as much as you'd think. And that is about it for the polytunnel. And then next up, things like these early courgettes, they are still giving us little courgettes, but you know, again, we've been eating these now for I don't know, seven, eight weeks or something like that and the plants are just you know they're old very old and not very productive and to be honest we've just got so many courgettes so i'm going to get rid of these i'm leaving these tomatoes these were just some spares that i had that I popped into containers i really don't want containers on the allotment at the moment it's too much hassle with water in them but uh, there's just too many tomatoes coming on them so i'm just going to leave them and just keep giving them a little bit of water just hoping that not watering them too much just brings the tomatoes on because i don't really want them much beyond the end of the month i want these peas out so some of them there's a bit of a second flush coming on them which sometimes happens especially on the mulch too like these but i think i'll just eat these fresh now and take the rest off and i should have plenty of beans on here that are sort of dried off now as well. So I'll get those harvested. Got these two little tomato plants, there's one there and one somewhere else on the plot. And these were just side shoots that I just stuck in the compost. Um, and I really want to get those in the polytunnel and strung up. And that, that'll just be the only containers then, hopefully apart from the cucumbers that I've got in the polytunnel. So watering should be fairly easy. And the only reason I have these, given that I've got so many tomato plants, is that these are the ones that uh, keep going into October when all the others are pulled up 
so that I can plant my winter crops. Final job that I want to try and get done is I really want to just get all these buckets of carrots emptied and most of them have got carrot fly which is why they're just stuck on the top here um, and so get that compost recycled and mixed in with all these greens from all the plants I'm taking out and that's what I like to do I just re constantly recycling my compost and adding new greens to it so when I say recycle the compost this is what I mean I'm taking this compost here with all this root ball so absolutely masses of uh, carbon in here and I'm mixing it into the greens because I don't have many browns at the moment so basically this this is my brown and uh, it seems to work quite well you know because this is horrible stuff and you wouldn't want to go anywhere near reusing this but actually once it's been kind of reconditioned it gets all the moisture back and uh, it's mixed in as I said with all this green waste then uh, makes a nice good compost again so I'm in search of greens to add to my compost mix so I'm going to take the lower leaves off these collets they're not good enough quality for eating and they're getting in the way of all the leaks so that just also means I can get access to do some weeding so that's a good stack of leaves there to be chopped up so this looks so much better now that I've opened it up at the bottom and as I said I've got loads of leaves to go in the compost and these leaks they look really bad don't they but they always do at this time of year when they're kind of interplanted like this but as these stems get cleared of their leaves the leaks kind of pick up and it's hard to believe now but most of them make it and uh, so it's it's really worth it if you can cope with the mess and the worry that you're not going to have any leaks over winter so you can see much better how this leak interplant is going to look in a few weeks time by comparing them with these uh, Brussels sprouts so the polythorn is looking much better now and I will come and tidy up the tomatoes which are getting a bit out of control one day when it's raining probably next week the side shoots they just come from nowhere and sometimes I leave them in so like here there's loads of space up here so I'm going to leave some of these side shoots in because the plants are you know quite small well spaced out whereas here I'm going to thin out some of these side shoots that have sneaked out because these are just so thick and the trusses are so big so in the end I decided that I would take off the lower leaves and side shoot these plants and this is kind of the after and that's kind of the before so I'm going to work my way through all of them and uh, I'll actually leave all the stuff piled up on the floor so you can see just how much you end up taking off when you neglect a polytunnel for a few weeks so that much looks so much better now so all of these trusses now getting much more light and much nicer and the same with these again can I see, can I see them now? I couldn't even see them before looking really nice So I think that's a job well done. Maybe a little bit more tidying up up here. Still needed to be done. But again, as I said, there's always another day. And although it's 100 degrees in here, it's actually quite nice out of the sun because it's right now it's 1.30. So the sun is right above this mylar blanket. And so I'm kind of working in the shade and the worst of the sun if not the heat is being reflected out and there's the pile of greens for the compost bin I hope you like this little video my name is Steve this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon